What do you make of this move and what do you think is the main reason that Elon Musk is doing it? Is it to prepare for future transactions uh, in the cryptocurrency? Is it to maximize returns for, for his cash holdings? Yeah, you know, a couple points that I'll make. And, you know, this actually ties in pretty nicely with the report that we just put out, our, our big ideas report. Um, so, so first, uh, you know, my, my colleague, Yassin, who's our, our crypto expert, um, we, we've actually done quite a bit of, of research on this in the past. And, uh, you know, Tesla's not the first company to do this. We've seen this with Square. Um, we've seen this with MicroStrategy. This, this uh, using Bitcoin as corporate cash, um, especially if you're doing business in, in many different countries with many different foreign currencies, um, you know, this could be uh, instead of, you know, dealing with the complication and, and the risk, uh, that treasury risk. Uh, you, you can instead do this with Bitcoin. Um, so we, we think it makes sense, certainly from a corporate cash standpoint. And actually, we've done some analysis to say that if, you know, 1% of all the um, of the, the cash from the companies in the S&P 500 were to be con uh, converted into Bitcoin for corporate treasury purposes, this could actually increase the price a meaningful amount by about, about $40,000. Um, you know, so Tesla put roughly 8% of their cash um, into this. So, so that's meaningful. Um, from the payment perspective, uh, you know, we've done a lot of work on, on the ride hailing space. Um, we think this is a, an opportunity that should be measured in the trillions. Uh, so if Tesla is, is operating a, a a ride hailing service uh, globally, um, you know, again, uh, they, they'd have to build out that payments function uh, to make it work. So you can imagine that Bitcoin would be useful again in that case um, as, as they go into foreign countries and, and operate there. So, so overall, do you welcome this move or is there an aspect of it that you feel might point to general market toppiness, particularly when you see the size in the move in Tesla and Bitcoin off the back of this announcement, which on the surface, doesn't necessarily mean anything immediately. Yeah, I think this is a trend, you know, from the ARK Invest standpoint, we think this is a trend that you can see happening with more companies. Um, so so I, I would say that this is, you know, part of sort of that, that longer term view that, that we've taken on Bitcoin, um, which is interesting. You know, at first when we, we looked at Bitcoin, we weren't necessarily looking at it um, for, for institutions from the Treasury perspective. Uh, you know, we are really looking at it as, as Bitcoin as its own asset class from an investment perspective. Um, but we've actually found out that this this is a really meaningful op opportunity uh, for, for Bitcoin as well. I, I get why, Tasha, as supporters of Bitcoin, you would be happy to see this. But what about as shareholders of Tesla? Is this what what does Tesla get out of it? Do you really want to see CEO Elon Musk tweeting about Dogecoin, which is sort of a joke of a, a cryptocurrency and now Bitcoin, is, is he just looking for publicity? Uh, you know, no, I, I think this is this appears to be a very, a very serious move from the company. And again, um, you know, it's validated by, by these other firms doing the same thing. Um, you know, again, I, I think when, when people think of Bitcoin, they think that it's, you know, this risky, unfamiliar thing. But um, it, if you're if you're looking at it from a treasury perspective, um, it, it could actually be you know more useful to you than doing all these transactions in foreign currencies. Um, so it, so it can actually reduce reduce that risk. Um, so you could picture actually companies that do this um, in the early days could could benefit from from a tailwind from from getting in early on on Bitcoin. Um, so so again, I, I think this is you know part of part of a, a long term trend that we're seeing. Um, you know. Uh, innovation has really, really taken share over the past years across our, our platform um, uh, in, in 2020. And I, I think I think 2021, we're just sort of in the early innings of, of those of the adoption for some of these technologies, uh, Bitcoin being included. Um, but but again, I think uh, looking at it from the ride hill perspective, you know, we think Tesla could launch both a, a human driven at first eventually autonomous platform, and they'd want to build out that payment functionality. So, um, you know, doing being one of the first companies to to invest in Bitcoin, to transact in Bitcoin actually gives them sort of an advantage um, to, to really lay that infrastructure as it becomes increasingly important. And again, as, as other firms might do it, um, you know, because uh, we, we think that there, there will be sort of that that uh, need for the infrastructure to be set up. Uh, so they'll be one of the first players to figure this out. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.